Hello guys, um, today I'm back with another top 10, well it's a top 5, but still, this is going in my top 10's playlist, because it's just the top, it's just like t ranking, from ones, from the best to the worst, or the ones who needed it the most, or the worst to the best, you need just rankings. Um, today's topic is Goosebump episodes. Now this isn't like the top 10, top, top 5 worst, because I did a top 3 worst episodes, and top 10 best, well most favorites. And, um, this is probably, this is, could be, this is more accurate to the real world and what a lot of people want. Some of these are my opinions. Two of them, which are the number f five and four. So this is going from, um, five to one on top five Goosebumps books that need episodes. So let's get started. Um, number five, we're starting off a series 2000 book, Preacher Teacher. No, um, I know this was made when the downfall. I know series two thousand started when the downfall of Goosebumps started, but they did make a few episodes. I think I know they did Bright of the Living Dummy, and I think that's like the only one they did. Um, I'm trying to remember. I think I think that's the only one they did. No, I'm picking Creature Teacher because it was an early one. Oh no, they did Cry of the Cat. Don't get mad. Don't get mad at me, guys. They did Cry of the Cat. I'm sorry. Um, but yeah, I, I found it weird that they didn't do Creature Teacher. Um, of course, I want Slappy's Nightbird, that's like number six. And also, it came out when there was like no TV show at that point. There was like no TV show at that point anymore. It was just gone. So yeah. I just don't see why they never did Creature Teacher. Um, of course, they go through the episodes and see if they can do it with their budget. But of course, that never made it. But, number four. This is my opinion, and I can see why I didn't make it. It would cost a hell of a lot of money for the set. Beast in the East. It's like a Dr. Seuss book in real life. Crazy. But, uh, of course, the costumes, there's multiple beasts from the East. There's multiple. And it, it, the it, voice actors, I know, I see why I didn't make this one. It's a hell of a lot of money for the set. Like, let's take another example. Like, the girl prayed monster. They, they obviously had enough money to rent out a library, or you might build a library for all I know. Probably rented it out. And also uh, rent out a house for the episode, and then paid the actors, you know. I think they had around, like, a $50,000 to a $10,000 budget for, like, each episode. But for this one, no. They would have never made it. Because uh, they're not building a whole set for one episode. That could have been a failure. Still, Beast from the East Resides is one of my favorite Goosebump books. I'm pretty sure every everybody watches probably likes this book at least a little bit. Or if you've read the book, I highly suggest it. It's fun. It's a roller coaster. It's very good. But I just don't see why it never made into an episode. Most, the only reason why I see why is because it would have been too much money. Now this one, you guys can agree with me. All they need like a school set, a house set. They could rent. We could, they could rent it out of school, or just build a classroom set. Oh look, Monster Blood too. You guys can all agree with me that Mon Mo Monster Blood and more Monster Blood were good. Monster Blood was good. More Monster Blood was not good. It was okay. It was just Monster Blood, but it wasn't Monster Blood too. It was like between them two. I I really want to see Monster Blood two as an episode. But, of course, that never happened. Yo, you all know why. Cuddles. Cuddles. Now, the next one. Um, I'm pretty sure y'all can agree with me because the sequel got made. But, it's technically a sequel and not. It's still. Curse of the Mummy's Tomb. Why? I don't see why they never made Curse of the Mummy's Tomb. Um, they made Return of the Mummy. And I'm like, okay, what about Curse of Mummy's Tomb? I searched all over Netflix. Like, it's like how I didn't realize the um, or if a Beaver Swamp existed. That was the last episode I discovered. That was right before we got Netflix, and I liked that episode pretty much. And I didn't, I did an episode review. Go check it out. Of like a really long time ago. More episode reviews coming tomorrow. Uh, more Monster Book to be specific. But uh, this book in particular is good, and I don't see why they can make it into an episode. Um, this book, fun fact, this book was the shortest book I have ever read. I flew through this book in two days. At school, and we get like ten minutes. I don't know how I just... 
and I read every single, I, I know the book. It's good. I recommend it. Okay, final one. And if you don't agree with me, you are mentally insane. On all its glory. Night of Living Dummy is number one, and I think you all know why. Night of Living Dummy 2, Masterpiece. Night of Living Dummy 3, the best episode ever made. Besides Attack Jack, Jack Lanterns, in my opinion. But for some reason, Night of Living Dummy 3... Well, Night, Night of Living Dummy 3 and Night of Living Dummy 2 were made, and this one wasn't. The original Night of Living Dummy. Now, here's the thing. I think it was going to be one part. I think the reason why I didn't do it. Here's a, there's a theory. There, there was a theory that Slappy was Mr. Wood, but the the answer is because they they uh they just couldn't make that they they didn't see how they would do that into an episode. And I'm okay, seriously. <laughs> it's it, you did Night of Living Dummy Free. That was a hell of a lot crazier. I mean, there were he there were that half the budget went to the fucking dummies and the Slappy costumes. I'm not even kidding. And. I don't see how you can have done this. Sure, Slappy's a prop in the background. And Slappy's not even the main antagonist, but come on, Mr. Wood. I like Mr. Wood. I have a freaking t-shirt. Anyways, ugh. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'll see you guys in the next one later. I'm happy to make this a shorter one so you guys don't have to sit for 10 minutes of me talking. I know you guys don't like doing that. So, uh, see you guys in the next one. Bye.